Welcome to Samaya Training, our course on occupational health and safety. It's a tutorial on using a bow tie analysis for a new chemical at work. My name is Jonathan Scopes. So first we'll introduce the bow tie and what is it. Well, you'll see on the screen here we have um, a hazard at the top in the hazard hatching in that box. So the hazard can be anything, and as a result of the hazard, something harmful could happen. We'll call that the top event. It could be harmful to people, it could be harmful to property, it could be harmful to reputation. The things that could cause that top event to happen are called threats. Threats happen before the top event. They lead up to the top event. So a threat will cause the top event. We will now introduce some barriers or controls to try and stop that top event happening. Okay, even with the barriers, sometimes the top event will happen. If the top event happens, then we have a new consequence. And the consequence is something that happens after the top event. It could be bad for someone's health, it could be bad for property or reputation. It's going to happen, the consequence, but we can have mitigations. Mitigations are things that make the consequence less bad. So we have now a hazard with a top event. We have threats controlled by barriers. We have consequences reduced by the mitigations. So in our case, we're going to take this, the hazard, a new chemical. It could be any chemical coming into your business and the top event will be an exposure to that new chemical, a harmful exposure. So let's build our bow tie together. In this tutorial, we're going to go with three threats. Threat, threat number one is, we know nothing about the new chemical. Threat number two is, when we do find out about the new chemical, it tells us it's a flammable chemical. Threat number three is, be sure to keep this chemical out of your eyes, it's harmful for eyes. So now we'll look at each threat one by one. So to manage the threat of having no information about the chemical, we will look at the um, safety data sheet. Every reputable supplier of a chemical will give you this information, the safety data sheet, in a standard format, and it lists all the safety information that you could possibly want. The second threat. The second threat says the chemical is flammable. Well, we can control that risk of flammability, of it catching on fire, by storing it below 60 degrees centigrade, perhaps in a shaded warehouse, and we could store it in robust, strong containers. So that would give us two barriers to prevent um, the fire. Threat number three says, if it gets in the eyes, it's, it's, it's harmful. So we could manage that threat, for example, by instead of pouring the chemical, we could pump it. So we put a pipe in through the motor and into the container we're filling, and we either turn the handle or use the electric motor to fill without splashes. We're protecting our eyes. And the other thing we could do is to wear goggles to protect our eyes. So now we have um, three threats and we have five barriers managing those threats. But even so, we could have exposure to the chemical. It could happen. If it does happen, we'll have some consequences. So now we'll look at the other side of the bow tie. So I'm showing two consequences. A fire happens and some harm to the eyes. So how can we mitigate it? If the top event happens, the consequence happens, but we can make it less bad. So let's do that. So if the fire occurs, we could have fire alarms. The fire alarms sound after the fire has happened, but they warn us and tell us, go and get the extinguishers and put it out. And the extinguishers are also a mitigation. They make the fire less bad because we put it out before it gets big. The second consequence is harm to the eyes. So we could install eye wash stations, places where if you get something in your eyes, you could go there swiftly and flush 
the chemical out of your eyes with, with the water. And we also have trained first aiders. So we have two mitigations to make the consequence of harm to the eyes less bad. And if we put it all together, for the consequences, we have two consequences and four mitigations. And if we put, put the whole bow tie together, it looks like this. We have three threats with five barriers and two consequences reduced by four mitigations. This is an example of a completed one for a company that we did some work for, and this is for introducing uh, a new chemical, in this case a radioactive material, into their business. And you can see on some items we have many barriers, but it's just an example. You can follow us on uh, Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn and Facebook. Thank you.